I'm Jesse Grimes. I'm the Vice President of the SDN. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of our journal Touchpoint. Um, I set up the SDN Academy and outside my life in the SDN, I'm a freelancer helping startups and innovation projects. i have an SDN member for sure. In fact, I joined our organization in 2008 when we had our first conference um, and I've been a member since then. We recognized as an organization around six years ago that there was a market for service design training. We have a lot of things like our conferences where I am now, um, like Touchpoint, which is the publication about service design, um, that can teach people to some extent about what our practice is, but we felt that we also should be in the business of training, that people can come to us, whether it's to learn the basics of service design, whether it's to, if they're established in their career, to pick up a more advanced topic. Um, and that's where the idea came about. And it's been really successful. We have accredited trainers who have been, um, some of them really experts in their field from all around the world. We've had a lot of courses over the years, a lot of students. Um, and at the moment, I think our most successful courses are practitioner programs. So people can join us, take the practitioner accreditation, get taught by some of the best people out there and get the recognition from the SDN that they're an accredited practitioner. It's a great aspect of our organization. The conference, of course, only comes once a year. The uh, academy, although we have virtual courses, is also just some events across the year. Touchpoint comes out three times a year, and the knowledge in there grows with every publication year. We've had 14 years of publications now, three issues every year. So it's really, a, I think, a point of reference for service design as a practice. From the earliest articles, our first issue is called What is Service Design, essentially. Uh, until now, we have issues on employee experience was our most recent one, our biggest one ever. A few issues before that, topics about sustainability in service design, um, how service design addresses things like AI. So we stay up to date in a way that I don't think books about service design really can. And I think with some more authority than perhaps just someone on Medium who writes stuff and wants to get some attention for themselves. We're created by the community. Our guest editors come from the community. The people who write from us are typically practitioners as well. So I think it's really one of the valuable things the SDN does and we hear from our members and our readers that it's something they value too. I think as a global organization run by volunteers and really meant for the world of service design practitioners, there's a lot of ways people can get involved. I was just talking about Touchpoint. That is a place where people can say, look at, I've got a project I want to write about. I've got thoughts about the world of service design. They can submit an abstract and hopefully get published. We have a case study database where people hopefully submit their examples of their work. Um, that's a very valuable resource for people who want to know what service design looks like in practice. The award program, of course, is our opportunity to really stamp some projects saying this is really the kind of best in class for this year. We have a Slack group that people can be a part of that's free, even actually if you're not a member of the SDN, where people can get involved in a discussion. We have local chapters if they want to get involved. So this is really a global community that everyone can be a part of. Of course, paid members get some extra value, but um, it exists because there's people out there that want to share things and share knowledge. And there's a lot of ways to do it. So I hope if someone feels they've got things to share that they participate with us.